back to the Afternoon Express Kitchen where today we're focusing on winter puddings and helping us do so is one of my favourite chefs, Jenny Morris. And you already know, I think I call him my favourite every single show, <laughs> Chef Jay. <laughs> now, Jenny, yes. when it comes to winter and winter puddings, what is very important to remember? What are some of those flavours that maybe are reoccurring? Do you know what? I think because pears and apples always resonate with me because they're seasonal, um, but we're so lucky now because berries can be preserved and frozen um, and you can freeze stone fruits and things like that. But mm. I normally kind of gravitate towards the, the pears. Apples. Pears and apples, because there's a lot you can actually do. And apple loves blueberry, you know what I'm saying? So you can mix and match yeah. and, and they can play. play together, absolutely. Have a little party. Oh, in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, they're speaking about parties, they're speaking about having a good time. So how about let's have a jam and have some fun with roly-poly. Oh, I like what you did there, See what I did there? <laughs> Now this jam roly-poly is simple to make, comforting, and sure to bring back memories of traditional school dinners. The perfect treat to bring in the winter nights. It looks incredible. I want to find out how it tastes. And to do that, we need to find out how it's made. Mm -hmm. Very easy. I'm going to start with the pastry over here. I've already put my flour in the bowl and I've added my cold butter. Fingered a little, yes. put my fingers in there a little bit um, to the consistency of breadcrumbs. Crumbs, yes. Don't be too crazy about getting it even. Having those chunks of butter in there really Lovely. gets a flaky pastry at the end of the day. And then we're just going to go in with some flour. Flour, we've got, darling, some milk. Yes, yes we want it wet and we want it dry. Wait. Yes, we, so we've already got the flour now. We're adding milk. I love that. Jenny, you know, I'm such a big fan of you. So I'm fangirling over here. So don't mind me, OK? Um, and then you really want to just... Give it a little... Get it a nice stir. Bring it together in a pretty little ball. Yeah. Balls again, yes. <laughs> get that nice little pastry ball going. And it's so easy, you know? I love it. So it's similar to a short crust pastry, That's basically. Very nice. Very, very uh, nice. Jenny, have you ever tried making a roly-poly? Darling, I've roly poly after <laughs> winter. I'm a roly-poly, but... Um... I can relate. You're roly poly it out, even in the body. <laughs> but my grand, my granddad, grand, Grandpa Bob used to roly-poly. Oh, and okay. so that's something I also remember with lovely... My mum was a fantastic jam maker. You've already got a ready-made jam here on your side. A beautiful apricot jam. Mm. Um, and I've got nuts that are going to go with this lovely... You know, apricot and almonds, lovely, because have you ever cracked open the... A, a, um, a stone from an apricot. The kernel inside is just like almond. Oh, wow. So they like each other. Um, and some blueberries. I know you're dying to taste. Yes. But would you like to roll this out for me? Well, why shouldn't I? I think you should. I think we should swap positions for a little bit. I like that. Well, now, if you were my husband, I would say, fine, then you I'll sit <laughs> on the couch and you can do the ironing. <laughs> Okay, That's great. what I'm talking about. <laughs> and um, at the end of the day, you know, teamwork makes the dream work in the kitchen. Um, and we are focusing on certain flavours here in the kitchen and um, being able to play and show the versatility of different ingredients. No, for sure. And I think, you know, this is, this is something that I remember having as a child, you know. Really? As, like... Boarding school kind of vibe. Oh, okay. okay so it Maybe it's because I never went to boarding <laughs> school. So I'm unfamiliar. But it's just one of those things that's such a, like, just a good mouthful of just joy mm. and happiness. You know, jam, apricot jam, I'm sure every South African has it, you know. <sighs> love it. Malva on goes into malva pudding on <laughs> toast. I love that, Jenny. And <sighs> just, you know, it's just a, it's a bundle of joy. Yeah. So, Jenny, I've actually got some of the jam we made earlier. Oh, can I take so it home? You can definitely take <laughs> it home. So we're going to use that as the filling. So you can actually start okay. filling that up can for I fill? us. All right. This looks magnificent. What a lovely gift. Yes, yes a very good gift-giving idea. Do you, do you like a little or a lot? I like a lot. Obviously, we don't okay. want it spilling out of the okay. sides. But so it means we're going to go, like, down three quarters and go. leave some little borders. There we go. Oh, this mm. looks beautiful. And I can see that that jam consistency is quite chunky. Mm. So I like a chunky jam. Mm. Me too. I don't like it too smooth. I love having... It's real fruit. You want to get that texture of... of in your mouth. Fruit. In your mouth, you know. It's homemade. Keep it chunky, and I think it just adds to the nostalgia of the dish. And then what you want to do is once you've rolled up your log, put it in a parcel of baking paper and foil, wrap it up into the oven with your baking tin full of, of water, so a bain-marie style. You're actually mm. steaming this pudding for about an hour at 180 degrees, and it will be ready. To get this recipe, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za and you can be roly-polying out.